the Young Minds channel of SSCRD. Last time you were with us, we showcased our young mind, three and a half year old Nisar. Wow, he was one young talented chap, wasn't he? And yeah, today we have another young mind who is here to prove that age is just a number and he is Aditya Kamal. You'll be really amazed to see the knowledge he has gained about space and technology. Hi Aditya. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Great. So, tell me about something about you Aditya. So, where are you put up? Like, where do you stay? Which school do you go? Which class you are in? What is your age? Uh, my name is Aditya Kamat mm -hmm. uh, and I'm 13 years old. I live in Banshankri 3rd stage in Madhu. Uh, I go to Shiyari Bindu Mirwani And which was the first incident like, you know, you realized that you want to be, you know, something related to space or aerospace or something like that? So, uh, when I was in LKG, uh, there was a competition. There, we had to tell what we wanted to become. As far as I can remember, uh, I went up to this, uh, went up in the stage and I said, I want to become an astronaut. So Aditya, tell me why do you find space interesting? Uh, as I said earlier, uh, when I was in LKG, I said I wanted to be an astronaut. So I think I have a natural inclination towards astronaut. That's nice. So what is the specific thing in space that you like about it? Galactic chaos, like uh, collision, super wave, blah, blah. Wow, that's amazing. How do you define it? Like most of us don't you know that. Uh, so basically, uh, chaos means uh, disturbance. Disturbance in the sense, uh, like disturbance in peace. So galactic chaos means there's a disturbance in the peace or uh, in the space. Uh, like for example, uh, there was a recent news about this uh, two neutron stars colliding with each other. So uh, normally, any collision sends out only one type of wave, but this particular collision of neutron stars sent out two types of wave. Uh, like the first uh, type of wave was the normal radio wave uh, radiation. The second type of wave uh, was a gamma ray radiation at the higher frequency. So yeah, Aditya, you're talking about the two type of radiations, right? Yeah. So can you tell us more about the gamma radiation? So basically, the gamma ray uh, radiation is at a higher wavelength. It is extremely harmful uh, for us. Okay. So. Uh, gamma ray radiation uh, is actually considered as uh, one of the waves with the highest wavelengths. Okay. So, what else do you find interesting other than galactic chaos? Uh, black holes. What is a black hole in your definition? A black hole uh, is a point in space where uh, the gravity is so immense that it creates an infinite, uh, infinite bend or uh, singularity. Uh, in space time curvature. So Aditya, what is this singularity all about? Singularity is a point in space where gravity is so immense uh, that it stretches the space time uh, curvature into an infinite uh, like, hole. Okay, so you use this term space time. Can you define it? Uh, space time curvature. Uh, it is a imaginary grid. Uh, across the space okay. uh, so the vertical axis is the space and the horizontal axis is the time so Aditya as you talk about space time do you know about the multiverse uh, actually I know about, uh, just a little bit about the multiverse okay can you tell me that uh, the multiverse uh, is a theory by scientists uh, that they believe there is not only one universe like that universe um, okay. But uh, outside our universe, there are thousands of universes. So this is the multiverse. Thing. So Aditya, what you gave was scientific definition. Can you define in your words or give your opinion about it? Do you actually think multiverse exists? I think that the multiverse exists. Oh, okay. and why is that? Uh, according to the Vedas, a yogi, by performing uh, a ritual, can gain access to eight different dimensions. And there are eight uh, practices which he has to do, uh, which uh, gives a total of 64 different dimensions. I think that the 64 different dimensions 
are the 64 universes. Okay. Do you have another reason also? I think uh, whatever science that uh, we are finding today or whatever discoveries that we are making today uh, was all given in the ancient texts or uh, suggested by our ancient uh, uh, Sanskrit uh, scholars. So Aditya, apart from all this space and technology, is there anything else you like about? Uh, I like painting and origami. Why origami? Not all kids like When I was uh, young, I had a friend named Ram. I'd asked him to make a paper airplane. Uh, he made it and uh, when I threw the airplane, it fell inside the dust. So when I asked him to make a airplane again, he said no. Uh, so that uh, made me interested in origami or this was the first step. So I started making my own paper airplanes and uh, when I was making these, I saw YouTube. Uh, side In the side there are suggestions. So in the suggestions, there were other uh, nice origami. So I checked them out and the habit or uh, my liking developed. That was Aditya for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want your kid to be the next young mind, please like, share and subscribe and reach out to us. So till the next time, peace. Hope you enjoyed the video. That was awesome. <laughs>